Are you looking to upgrade your suspension and wondering why control arms make a difference beyond the burning hole in your pocket? QA1 has the answers for you. Hello everybody, Bill here at QA1 and today we're going to talk about control arms and specifically what they do and what different kinds are there. Largely, the control arm is there to to keep your wheel and your spindle and your brake in place as your suspension moves through its travel. Uh, there's different types of control arms as far, from a construction standpoint. There's uh, stamped steel like these old ones. There's uh, some of the more modern cars have cast or forged control arms. Uh, but what we're really focusing on today is what we all know and love, which is cool cars from the 60s, 70s, 80s that largely all had these kind of stamped control arms from the factory. And what we like to do is upgrade to a tubular style control arm. So what are some of the limitations of a stock control arm? Well, a lot of times they're made of really heavy stamped steel construction with really big cushy rubber bushings and a ball joint that in a typical case, this is worn out, so it's easy, but if it's a stock ball joint that's fairly new, these are really stiff to move. So the combination of these limitations can lead to a vague feeling in the steering wheel. It can lead to bad alignment geometry from worn out bushings and just an overall bad experience driving your classic truck or muscle car. So what makes QA1 control arms different and why does it matter? Well, we use a HSLA, which is a high strength, low alloy tubing construction we use a low friction integrated ball joint housing and we use a high density polymer on the pivot bushings which optimizes the geometry for a much more modern feel in your steering wheel uh, than what the old stuff did. The alignment specs on this update to something much more modern giving you five to seven degrees of caster and ideally half to negative one degree of camber which is going to make your car uh, handle corners very confidently, not even from a racing or a like super spirited driving. It's just generally driving around. You're going to feel much more secure behind the wheel of control arms that give you a better feel in the steering wheel. Now, it's important to understand that all of these marketing buzzwords are not meaningless. They have meaning for your driving. Reducing unsprung mass allows your suspension to react more quickly to the road imperfections, which both improves handling and ride quality. Increasing the caster and camber adjustments make for a much more connected feeling to the road and much better high speed stability. The low friction ball joints and low friction bushings on the pivots allow everything to move as easily as possible, which means that your shocks and springs can do their job much more effectively. So all of these changes combine to make real world effects on your classic car or truck. It's not gonna necessarily feel like a 1965 car anymore. It's gonna feel like something that was designed in modern day, but looks as cool as the 60s and 70s cars did. So if this is raising any of the questions that you may have about your control arm needs, feel free to give our tech guys a call or check out our website, qa1.net. And as always, go drive it.